Hello everyone, my name is Prana Bhagat and I am a senior developer advocate here at ServiceNow. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can properly install RPA in your environment. Before we get into the instance, let me tell you there are three main components to RPA. One is the RPA plugin. Second is the RPA desktop design studio and third is the RPA robot. So we're going to install all these three components. So let's get into the instance now. Let's go into the plugins module and let's install the RPA plugin. Now our plugin is successfully installed. Let's move into the other steps. All right, now our RP plugin is installed successfully. Now you'll be able to see the robotic process automation application in the application navigator. The first thing that we're going to do is like we'll go to the properties of RPA. And we're going to set a authentication mechanism. By default, it is set to MTLS, but you can set it to basic also. So I'm going to set it to basic and I'll save it. Now I'm going to go to the downloads module. Here I'll be able to see the RPA desktop design studio, unattended robot and attended robot. So for my use case, I'm going to install RPA desktop design studio and unattended robot. But based on your use case, you can either install unattended robot or attended robot. That's the thing. So let's click on the download button to download both of them. Now we have downloaded RPA desktop design studio as well as unattended robot. Before I go into the installation process, there is one more thing that is called as login agent that you are able to see on the screen. A login agent is nothing but a way to self invoke an RPA bot when the bot process is triggered. I'll put a documentation link in the comments if you want to know about what exactly login agent is. So now let's go into the RPA desktop design studio application that we just downloaded and let's click on installation setup. Once you click on the setup, you will be able to see this dialog box that you are able to see on the screen. Let's click on next and install the RPA desktop design studio. It takes a couple of minutes to get installed. All right, we have successfully installed RPA desktop design studio. Now we'll install the unattended robot. Again, I click on my download section and I'll click on unattended robot. I click on next. Now I have installed both my desktop design studio and an unattended robot in my in my environment. Now let me click on RPE desktop design studio. It takes couple of minutes to load up because it is trying to connect to my instance. All right, now it is loaded up. Let's click on unattended automation. I'm going to give it like test automation. And I'll click on OK. Now it has created a project for you to work on. One last thing that we're going to do here is like we're going to connect our RPA desktop design studio to our instance. For that, I'm going to click on connect to instance button. And here you can see that it's saying that RPA demos or the learn for learn RPA dot service now hyphen dot com instance is there. I click on connect. Now you can see on the screen, it is asking me to enter the username and password. So let me enter that. So I've entered my username and password. Now it will try to connect it to my instance. So it's saying that like I'll just allow it. Now you can see the RPA learn RPA is connected. So that's how you can connect your instance to RPA. 
Now you have successfully connected the RP Desktop Design Studio to your instance. Now we'll connect our unattended robot to our instance. To do that, we have to perform these three steps that you are able to see on the screen. Let's get into the instance to perform these steps. Firstly, let's give our profile the robot role. Let's click on edit. And you have to give this RP robot role to your profile. Let's save it. The second step is to create robots license distribution. In the interest of time, I have just created this record for you. It's a simple record that you can create. Now, the last step is to create a robot record. So to create a robot record, we need a machine name also. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to type CMD on my start menu. Command prompt will come up. Now I'll type this command host name. So I'll be able to see my host name coming up. I have blurred the host name because it's a confidential information, but I'm going to copy this thing. And now I'm going to create a new record with the machine name as well as the name of the automation. Let me submit this thing or you can save it. So once you have saved this thing up, now you're all set to connect your robot to your unattended robot application. Let's go to the unattended robot application. I'm going to click on an unattended robot application. I'm going to select basic. I'm going to give the URL of my instance. And now I'm going to give the credentials. And I'm going to click on connect. If we have performed all the steps properly, your ro unattended robot will be connected to your instance. So you can see it's connected. All right. So if you have followed all the steps that I showed you in the video, you have successfully installed RPA in your environment. Let me know in the comment section if you face any issues.